Um, oh, we have one more question. Yes. Uh, Jeremiah asks, uh, ideas come to you both pretty frequently, it seems. And with all the personal projects that you do, how do you prioritize them and then stick to them instead of starting on another idea uh, that you come to? Oh, that's a good one. This is also, a... Jeremiah, you're assuming that ideas come to us frequently, it seems? <laughs> James, do ideas come to you a lot? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean... Um... I don't know. I th- I guess semi regularly. There's a lot of like ideas that come to me, but they're not good ideas. <laughs> oh yeah. What well, was it, like on a daily basis or? Yeah, I'm always I'm always like sketching up things, but they're never good. What was an idea that came to you that you were like, no, mm. not gonna do it? Is there any that come to mind? Oh, man, no, because I usually block them out of my memory. <laughs> You're like, you're like ashamed that you thought of them in the first Um, place. Exactly. (laughs) But, uh, I, I mean, this is a really good question because I often find myself always wanting to start a project and, uh, and not really wanting to finish projects unless I, unless I have a deadline. This is the great, the great dilemma of every designer. Yeah. Every person, honestly. Right. How many people, you know, started remodeling their kitchen and then never finished? Oh yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the thing that I would always do, I played a lot of Diablo 2 back okay. in the day. Which is a video game. Yeah, Blizzard. Mom. And I I always used to, I would start new characters instead of like, you know, really developing my one character. Okay, I would so, you, always... so you had a lot of like noob characters and oh, not yeah. one powerful character. Yes. Mm, such a shame. I know. But eventually I, you know, I stuck with, I stuck with a couple. Like okay. I had like a, a couple that I would. A crew. Yeah, a crew. Nice, nice. I accrued a crew. But, uh, but yeah, I think it's, um, I don't know. I, I think it is, it is difficult sometimes if you don't have some sort of deadline to say like, like you kind of have to create an artificial one and say, I'm going to be done. Like, I'm going to be done with this at the end of the week and then I'm never going to touch it again. Right. I, yeah, there. This is kind of like touching on the fact of like, how do you motivate yourself to do personal projects? Right. And how do you know that it's done? Right. Well, <laughs> that's a tough one. How do you know it's finished? I mean, that's that could be a whole like topic. But I think for me, personal projects, sometimes it helps to tell someone else about it. Like right. if you keep it to yourself and you're like, oh, I'm working on this like secret little thing. I'm not going to tell anyone about it. Guess what? That thing's never getting done. Yeah. <laughs> because you're just... You're working on it, and you're going to work on it forever and ever. If you tell someone about it, they're going to keep you accountable. I mean, hopefully. If yeah. You have, if you have good friends. They're going to be like, Nick, why haven't you finished that Almost Object t-shirt? Yes. Now, if you're married, you always have somebody tell, to tell that you're working on something. Does, does Allison ever tell you that you need to finish your project, James? No, but she'll tell me if, if something is cool or if it's... Not cool. All right. I think Allison should start being like, hey, James, you need to finish this by Friday at noon if you don't turn it into me. <laughs> I mean, I was working late the other night, and she was not she was not too happy, I don't think. No. That, you know, it's like the bedtime is bedtime. The bedtime is bedtime. So, so uh, you know, I, I think I do need to create some sort of artificial deadlines about when to get things done. But we had we had an email a while ago about from somebody that... Um, that they were saying that they didn't think that they had gone to a very good design school and they were trying to get motivated to do side projects, but they could never finish their side projects or they would just second guess themselves. Yeah, this is definitely a very common thing. Yeah. I mean, we do it. I- I've done it multiple times. Yeah. And and according to some of the commenters on my Mucha Pen Hanger, I should have really reconsidered <laughs> what I did and not even done it in the first place. <laughs> but... Uh, um, I think like, you know, it's sort of like a, a, a muscle that you have to work out and, and, um, but I think that if you're getting started on side projects, I think it's a really good idea to just say like, you know what, this Saturday I am starting and finishing a project Yeah, and make it totally manageable, you know, make it something like that you can do. Yeah. In I mean, day. I mean, Reed and I did the watering can project and that was like, we would sit down and we would brainstorm and then oftentimes I would go home and like model it. Right. And there was no, there was no second guessing. It was like, Hey, you brainstormed. This is what it is. Like this is is the process. This is what you guys set up from the beginning. Yeah. And that sort of 
that sort of uh, routine will snowball Mm -hmm. into something bigger. I mean, this kind of tumbles into my whole Instagram like philosophy. It was like, do something every single day that you're proud of, you know, do just start small with daily things that you can accomplish. Right. And then you can build up from there. Um, I think, I, I, I don't know who, I'm sure there's a quote somewhere, but I feel like 95% of the, the work is finishing a project. Right. And 5% is actually starting the project. Yeah. I think somebody was telling me recently, there's, there's some sort of thing, there's some sort of quote in programming that's like when you've gotten 80% of the work done, you have to do 80% of the work to get 20, <laughs> the last 20%. It's finished. so true. It's so true. You know, cause, cause yeah, just like just getting a presentation together is a huge chunk of time. Right. It always takes twice as long as you think it will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, that's really, I mean, that's the synthesis part, right? Like that is, that's the, that is that final synthesis of this is how I arrived at my solution. And like, you know, you don't want it to, you don't want it to be belabored. Like you don't want, you don't want too much explanation. You want it to be succinct enough that it resonates. Um, yeah. You know, like how you do your little cartoons at mm. the beginning of your projects. Right, right, right. You know, something, something where it's like, oh, I get it. Yeah, exactly. Here's, here's something I've been thinking about. Like, have you ever started a project, had had kind of built it out to almost a finished thing like you had a final concept and then shelved it mm. and just let it sit right and, and marinate right until later date and then you came back to it and, and either either two, one of two things either you were like this is still a great thing and i'm gonna mm. finish it or the, this is still actually this is not a great thing anymore right and i'm gonna chuck it right well, I guess... Because that is a strategy that I've actually heard of before where people right. will come up with ideas and maybe they start start a project and then they pin it up on the wall and they just wait. They right. just let it marinate and, you know, six months later, is it still a good project to finish? Right. I, um... Yeah, I guess, like, I guess the thing that, that it comes to mind is um, the last helicopter that I did, which is the helicopter that Derek has been animating. Okay. Um, which, uh, is it the one with the propellers underneath the, the, yeah, it's sort of like, it has the peller. It's like, it's sort of like an egg shaped, Mm -hmm. like in the center of the body. Yeah. yeah. And the propellers are in sort of this, um, the feet. Yeah. They're in the feet. That helicopter. I did a number of versions of that. I was never happy with. Was the final version you're happy with or no? Yes. I'm very happy with the final version. Okay. Um, and are you not happy with it, Nick? I think it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, no, it was just like this constant thing because I, I I was trying to figure out how how the feet how the feet were were gonna work, and then how the back because because you know with a helicopter it's always about the carriage, the propeller, um, the propeller, and then the back rotor. Yeah, rotor. Yeah. So thank you for the terminology. I'm pretty uh, sure we messed that all up. But that's okay. No, but uh, but I was trying to figure out like how does it connect? Does the rotor come off of the back leg? Uh, like how? Like right, right. it took me a very long time to figure out how to compose this helicopter. Right. Um, whereas all the other ones, I was sort of in this routine of just like doing them, just like just do another one, just do another one, and like kind of release them and and be like that's what it is, and 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 there it is. Yeah. But that one. That one took a while to marinate, and then one day I just like figured it out. Right. And uh, I'm glad that I waited. I'm like, I'm glad that I didn't release the ones that I had done previously, and I'm glad that I waited. Like, and and I do feel very strongly about that last one. Yeah, no, that's good. That's um, a, that's definitely a good insight because it's all about. I feel like there's two kind of strategies. One strategy is just getting it out there, doing it, just finishing it, like just get it done. And the other strategy is like, once it's done, or maybe before it's finished, just set it aside, let it marinate. Yeah, you can always redo it. I mean, yeah. you know, technically, design's never finished. Right. They say that it's just like design is never going to be finished. Just right. the client needs it now. So. Right. What about you? Have you done that with any side projects? Like let it marinate. Yeah. Um, I've let my my shirt project marinate a little bit, 
that I've never finished yet. We've mentioned it multiple times, but um, yeah, I'm doing a t-shirt for Almost Object just to kind of uh, make more awareness of the brand and stuff, and I've let it marinate, and I think I've come up with a, another little element that really will help it out. So mm. sometimes marination... Marination, is that a thing? <laughs> We're about to make yeah, it a I thing. I think so. I think so. Is it marinate good, in its own juices? Is a good uh is a good strategy. Yeah. I think so. I, I I think um I think it was actually I love to talk about Paul Rand. But I think one of his things was like when somebody gives him a project, uh like would give him a project, he would get the proposal, he would think about it, and then he wouldn't touch it for a week. Oh. Like I, I think that that I, I believe that that's something that he would do. There is definitely something with your subconscious that kind of just chews on the idea. Right. It's in the back of your mind. It's when you're sleeping. It's yeah. when you're not thinking. Yeah. But but uh, he was also getting paid like a million dollars for a logo, so he could uh, <laughs> he could do that. He could do that. Oh man! All right. Thanks, Jeremiah, for sending that in. Those that, that was a great question. 